Hello everyone, welcome to Placid Plastid Duck Simulator. As of the update of March 24th, 2023, the devs gave us a new patch. What we all originally thought was just a small update turned out to be a little bit more than what we expected. The patch has introduced some secrets into the game that the community is still discovering right now. So I thought I'd make a video detailing what has been discovered so far. Heading back to the Infinity Cool, on a old save file now allows you to actually click on this door that has a four digit keypad on it. And I'm going to show you how to find the code because the code is different for everybody. So our first clue is going to be on the blackboard duck. It says the door will open when you find D and the last bit is covered up. There's also a bunch of equations on top of the duck as well, but I don't think they're relevant. But if you get the terminator duck and scan it, it'll actually reveal that it says code at the end. So how do we figure out the code? Well, actually, you have to go back to the quacking the ice stage to get some clues on how to figure it out. Again, this can be an old existing save that you already have. The one thing that has been changed on this map is now we have this curtain here, which has something hidden behind it. Now, unfortunately, the only way to get this curtain open is to wait, like usual. So skipping forward, with the curtain now open, it now reveals to us a bunch of posters. Upon closer inspection, we could see that the first poster is relating to the top hat duck. The next picture shows us an old timey cartoon duck. The third picture shows us the psychedelic duck. The fourth picture shows us a bunch of ducks playing a card game, featuring the Secret Service duck, the duck with sunglasses. I think this is either the King of Hearts or the King of Spades because there's two different ducks that look very similar. The duck you duck, the crying duck, the normal duck, and finally the top hat duck. Except this duck looks a little different than the top hat duck. I have a theory that this is the ghost duck. Now I don't have footage of this, but if you scan the ghost duck with the terminator duck, it'll actually show a description of the duck saying that this duck is a cheater. And if you look very closely in the picture, you'll see that this duck is hiding a card. But that's just a small theory onto the last picture. And the final picture is the most crucial one, which shows us a blacked out duck with all these weird scribbles along with a code in the bottom. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Now, I'm not sure who it is that discovered this, but if you look in the forums, you'll see that it's actually ASCII. So it's very simple. You just input the numbers from ASCII to text, and you'll get LSDNA. So with all this information gathered, let's head back to the Infinity Cool. Now, thanks to Lightwo on the Steam forums, he actually discovered that you can actually change music on the radio and he lists out a few channels that he found. One of them is just a song that just keeps repeating over and over again. Another one is a long song, but it does change different songs. They're just very long. But the most important one is channel 97.0. You can distinctly hear a Morse code along with another tune next to it. This tune actually sounds oddly familiar. It kind of reminds me of those old Mickey Mouse cartoons, which if you think back to earlier, there was a picture showing like an old tiny cartoon looking duck. So if you haven't pieced it together, Lightwell comes in with a post detailing that both of the names Elisdina belong to the psychedelic duck, along with the Morse code, if you actually decipher it, turns out to be the name Hedy, H-E-D-Y. And since it went with an old tiny tune, it's gonna go with the old tiny duck. So you're gonna go back and locate the two ducks and you're gonna go into the pause menu, collection and start naming those ducks. So we're gonna start with Elisdina. Once you enter that name, it actually just converts it to a number. So again, this number is gonna be different to everybody. So mine was 39. Now to find the other duck. And now we do the same thing and give him the name Hetty. And now you should have the second half of the number. So head on back to the door and enter in your code. All right, so there's definitely a lot to explain here. So we're going to go to each little segment. That ladder leads back outside. This shelf here actually had a soda can right in the middle. Once you click the soda can, you like view it up close and then it disappears. 
Uh, there was also a picture of the anime looking duck. But you could also interact with this chessboard. And that's the only piece you can move along with this D20. So I have a feeling these are also clues to help piece together a different puzzle. I completely forgot to mention this. Once you discover the soda can, a folder will pop up with a file inside called texture.db. Nobody knows what this leads to. Uh, there is nothing in the game's files about it, so we have no idea. However, once you find that can, it will always be there in the pause screen on the bottom left from here on out. There is also this soccer ball that you can interact with. I have a feeling the number on the soccer ball might have something to do with the puzzle. There is also a bed that you can click on and you'll have a close up view of all the pictures taken, which if you notice, it's all pictures of that anime duck. So whoever this is was a anime duck fanatic. The next table is actually one of the more fascinating ones because it has a blueprint of both of the area maps along with a bunch of notes, which are written in Italian, I believe along with photos. Now I took the liberty of taking a screenshot of this image, putting it into Photoshop and just lowering the brightness and hiring up the contrast. That way we could potentially see a bit more detail. We'll come back to this and talk about it. I just want to go over the last thing about this bunker and then we'll come back and just theorize on what all this stuff is. So the last section in this bunker is something very interesting. So we have six screens one of them is at infinity cold and the one's at the other location and you'll notice that there's a bunch of events like the plane boat the ducks shooting star dolphins the king duck along with the rain it's like as if this entire game is just a stage or a simulation but if you press on this duck button and head back outside we have a new duck in the collection the qr code duck this is the only way to make it spawn now, I have tried to get this QR code to work. People on the forums have actually gotten it to work, and it does lead to something interesting. The link takes us to this unlisted video on this channel that also has no videos. Um, I will link it on the description below so you guys can go out and check it out yourself. But something interesting that I could not find that apparently someone else has noted on the forums was a comment left by the creator of the game, which was made two weeks before this update rolled out. So I'll leave this up here for a little bit longer. You guys can read it. Uh, I'm sure it probably has some more clues about what else to find, but I cannot find it on that video anymore. Now, unfortunately, this is where all of the discoveries end. If you were wondering what happened to that soda can, it actually does spawn here in the Affinity Cool if you go to the second chair, but you can't really interact with it. So if you haven't done so, please go check out the discussion about the locked door. This is where I found majority of all of my discoveries. And it also led me to other rabbit holes that people are also finding out about the game. Other little secrets that people are trying to decipher. Checking out the current mysteries thread, you'll see a bunch of things that people have documented and discovered. One of those things referring to the Scrabble Duck. And if you look closely in the front of it, there is actually a partial code for a Discord link, which as of the making of this video, nobody has seen to figure out yet, along with other strange writing found on the Scrabble Duck as well. And of course, this. And in all honesty, I'd rather keep the video short, and I'll just make a separate video just detailing all the little individual things that I have analyzed and kind of tried to discover on my own. I've been able to Google Translate a few of the things written, but obviously I am not efficient at Italian, so you'll have to take it with a grain of salt. If you want to take my image and further enhance it or just make a better version of it, be my guest. Right now it's looking like all the clues are stemming to IRL, uh, more or less towards where the creator used to live in Italy, which is the location where the video was from. And on top of that, there is a postage duck, a uh, post mail duck that actually has the coordinates to a town in Italy, which again, in that current mysteries thread, people have figured out that there is a castle, which there's also an image of that castle in the ice level as well. So it, it, it's definitely leading towards a lot of IRL stuff. So with that being said, that's about all the info I have so far, and we are officially in ARG territory. So everyone is just scouring the game for any clues and just trying to piece together whatever we have so far. I will do my best to keep people up to date on the search 
and just see where this all goes because uh, well, <laughs> nobody expected any of this yesterday. So, so shout outs to the Placid Plastic Duck Simulator community. Without their help, I would not have been able to make this video. And I have also noticed that nobody else has made a video about this either. Because unfortunately, you have to wait for certain ducks to appear. So I'm glad I still had an old save file with every duck unlocked. That way I can go in and just do a bunch of testing myself. But if you guys discover anything interesting, be sure to note it in the comments. Or you can note it in the community comments on Steam. So that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this fascinated you. And I can't wait to see what else we discover. So this is GamePro24X. And you guys have a good night.